Hello, my name is Jesse. This is the auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a Patreon request for Vanadel and Max. A new game on the series, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. The song is called Disco Descent. This is composed by Danny Baranowski, and this is their YouTube channel. Whoa, one million views. Okay, damn. Okay. Well, I never heard of this. Didn't look up anything. I have no idea what this is. But there's disco in the title, so I'm excited. This is Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That's a cool name. Disco Descent, let's go. Yup. It's already good. <laughs> Why do they have a shovel in their hand? Why are they on a dance floor? I have so many questions already. Ooh, for these lead tones. Damn, dude. Feel my earwax is like vibrating. <laughs> Has it even looped yet? Oh, dude, the synthesizer's sound is... Ah! Oh, it's kind of like a little voice sound, too. Apparently this is like one of the first stages, so this is like one of the first things you're greeted with. Alright, so apparently just based off the name of the game and this song name, this game has to do with music somehow. It must. Necro Dancer, Disco Descent, man, I was getting so many like things here. First of all, Production value, immaculate. This person knows what they're doing. I don't know what else they've worked on. I don't know if I've ever checked them out prior. But they know what they're doing. You know, I've noticed something. In these, uh, every now and then, like, I'll get these videos, and I'll have the composer in the video thumbnail. You know what that means? That typically means they they know what's up. They're, they're branding their work. You know what I mean? Like, they, they're comfortable having everyone know that they wrote it. It's like, yeah, I know, that's mine. <laughs> okay, well, I was getting some 
it felt kind of newer. It felt like composed in the past five years or so. It reminded me of a couple things. The Fallen Brothers, Tim Fallen. Kind of like if I, if you can imagine less production value and put this song back in like the early 90s, it sounds like something the Fallen Brothers would make. It sounded like Toby Fox. It sounded like Undertale without the chaotic craziness. <laughs> and it reminded me actually of the Commodore 64. I've only heard two songs from the Commodore 64, I think. Maybe two, three. But either way, they had that kind of like do, 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 you know, all those zaps and all that. So it just sounded like basically a, a whole video game, like, it just sounded like video game music to the T. That's it. Man, this is one of those videos where I wish I, like, you know, clicked on my stand-up desk and I was standing so I can just kind of like move a little bit, felt a little constricted, but... Clearly, there's a there's rhythm here. There's musicality. There's attention to detail. There's love in this. You can feel it. You can. This is one of those things, kind of similar to maybe a Hat in Time, which I played recently. I played that because the music was so cool. I feel like you can tell when the composer really puts their love into the craft, and then it reflects, and then the audience grasps it grasps it at well say that three times fast so like as you're playing this for the first time or whatever you're like whoa, whoa, whoa what is this or it was recommended to you because of the music someone was like hey, dude the soundtrack of this game is really crazy you should check it out and then it just goes from there it's a very word of mouth and okay first of all there's a million views on this now i'm not saying a million means i have to know about it but a million is a lot. So you'd figure maybe I would have heard about it or something. So that kind of proves my point. This was shared around. This was, you know, this is criminal. This YouTube channel, which is his YouTube channel, has less than 7,000 subscribers. A million views. So, this, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's niche. But people know about it. I can't explain it besides that. The good news is that I have more requests for this game from this requester too, so they're going to get priority. But damn, dude. <laughs> Don't ask me when that plays. All I know is that it's either the first level or something in the first something, because it says 1-1, one, one, which is like, you know, a world type of thing. So I don't know if this is a rhythm game. Or if it's just a game that's whatever, but the music is a standout. But I am very confident, Shot in the Dark, but a very confident Shot in the Dark, that the rest of the soundtrack is dope as hell. There's no way I'm going to start with that, and then everything else just sucks. I just don't see that happening. So even though I didn't get much as far as like scenery or anything, I was jamming out. But it gave me the same feeling I got, like for A Hat in Time, The Commodore 64, Undertale, you know, all those, those like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Like the kind of, uh, uh, that limitation sound, but chosen artistically, not because they had to. So there's a reason for that. Curiosity. That's it. I don't got much. I just really enjoy that song. Disco Descent. Disco Descent. Yeah, I have no idea. Cool. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I'm going to post this. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of commenters are going to be like, Oh my god. You're checking out Crypto the Necro Dancer? Make sure you listen to... Brrr. You know, like VGM people probably know about this. That type of thing. I discovered this, the, the secret gateway. This is great. I haven't heard something like that in a while on this channel. So that, that, that stuck out like that. So, cool. Danny Baranowski. Let me know what else he's done. Damn. And uh, of course, let me know how this game is, how the rest of the soundtrack is. 
What's your favorite song from it? There's still more coming, thankfully. It's always fun hearing a new game on the channel, especially when it's an amazing new sound. Always gives me something to look forward to, so thank you. So uh, thank you, Vandell and Max, and thanks to all my other Patreon members and to my Platinum members, which I'll describe right now. Kevin, Patrick, Shadow Maxim, Vanadel, Kalanen, Gardelaine, Mushimari, Justin, Knox, and s -Flaw. Thanks to you for watching. And I will see you dudes and dudettes in the next one. Video game music is the shiz. Have a good night.